In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a table to your article. I already have one here, but I'm going to, I have it there for a reason. I'll show you in a moment. My cursor is below it. If you wanted to add a table to your article, you place your cursor where you want the table to be, and you put your cursor over this little image here, inserts a new table, and you click it. And two columns, two rows. You can add a number for cell spacing, you know, to show you. I'll put three. And you can mess around with the height and width if you like, but I, I'll show you how I do it. And then you insert. Because when you start typing within a cell, it spreads out. That's just how I do it. You could choose a height and width, that's up to you. But that's how you add it to your article. I'm going to right click and delete this table. I'm adding a table. This is a table and the little spaces in it are cells. Now I already have this here. I'm going to show you how to merge cells within a table. I want to merge these two here. You highlight them. And you can either right click and do it from there. You go to row, table row properties or you can place your cursor here, merge table cells. Either way. Now, I want to make this cell this color. So my cursor is inside of this cell. I'm going to right click. Table row properties. I'm going to click advance. I want to change the background color. I've already been using this color throughout the article, so it populates really quickly. It, it shows up in the field. Click Apply, Update. Now, I want to add this content right here. I'm going to click the Paste from Word, right click, Insert. And there you go. I get rid of the space. I want to highlight it, bold it, center it. Arial 12. Excellent. That's what I want to do. Then I'm going to go back here and copy the first line. Place the cursor into that cell. Hit paste from Word, paste, insert. Get rid of the space. I'm going to do the same thing to the next line. You can view this article. It's safe driving and crash prevention. But I'm giving a table, so the calculations, and I thought it'd be something nice to add to the article. I'm going to do these last few. I'm not going to do the entire table, but I do want to show you something about adding insert custom characters. Another 30 seconds I'll be doing that. Add that there. It jerks around a little bit when you add it, but that's okay. It's not like you're doing the entire article with tables, so that once in a while, no big whoop. Right click insert. Scroll up. Get rid of that space. Now this two cells I want to merge. I'm going to highlight them. Go up here, merge table cells. Excellent. I'm going to go back because this is describing what I just typed. My cursor is in that cell. Go to paste from Word. Paste. Insert. Scroll back up, get rid of the space. I want to bold, center, Arial 12. But what I want to do here, oh no, I didn't want to do that, folks. I want to keep, no, 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 no. I'll keep it 12. 
No. I want to keep it the same. Go back to 10. All right, we'll figure that out in a minute. But the point is, I'm placing my cursor before the at, the word at. I'm going to click Insert Custom Character, and I want to put this arrow there. I'm going to click Space, and I'm going to do it at the end of it too, make a space. Insert Character. That's why it's doing that. I want to bold that, and I want to make that 12. And I also want to give it a background. Well, uh, gives it a little something. That looks pretty good, don't it? These two are different. But that's how you do it, folks. I wonder why that... Our family... I'll figure it out. But that's how you mess around with a table. So I, I thought you would find that interesting. I hope it helps you out. Have a, have a good time writing your articles.